what is going on guys Andrew here welcome back to my cigar lounge we're going to be doing cigar number 14 this is the second to last one it's none other than another room 101 i think this one was sent to me by either daniel or ian it's one of them two but either way both thank you again for sending these out to me for me to do these reviews this is called the hit and run part two or hit run deuce and this is the short corona version uh, it's a nice little baby size this is definitely the type of size cigar that that i like you already know i'm not a fan of just smoking these things for over an hour it's just way too long for me from what i heard the notes supposed to be this nice spiciness to it with also some like cedar notes and it's just supposed to be really smooth and just good room 101 has been pretty good in my book i haven't really had any problems with them especially with the uh first two that I had I didn't really have any major problems with them so let's go ahead and open this thing up I'm not gonna make this video long not because I really have anything to do but I just want to kind of get this one done because I want y'all to see this last one this I think it is a Churchill size I don't know for sure though this one is wrapped in here super tight I mean this thing is tight look how tight that thing is all right oh this is super tight what the world it's definitely toothy it smells like raisiny just like a sweet tobacco note let me try to get y'all let y'all see the sticker really quick it's definitely toothy um very seamless veins and a solid i guess double cap so let's go ahead and get this thing cut up the current temperature outside is 69 degrees it feels perfect right now i don't want it to get any colder or any warmer and right now the bugs aren't really out because it's like 610 I think or almost 630 I can't remember uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut this thing up and get it lit as always we're gonna be using the v-cut lighter and uh, <laughs> we're gonna be using just the v-cutter I don't know why I just said v-cutter lighter I am gonna put it in the heart-shaped version or really like the four pattern version just because um, this thing feels super tight like it feels tighter than the last cigar I had uh, that was an uncharted but that one was also tight it was a super tight draw on that all right let me make sure I do this right Let me see with the draw first. I'm going to check first. It feels like it's going to be good. Should I do it, y'all? Should I do the heart-shaped cut? Ah. See, I don't want to do it and then be, like, upset. All right, we're going to do it. Just because we might as well. All right, it came out good. Check that out. Yeah, the current time right now is 6.34, so it'll be basically 6.35 right when I light this thing. Uh, I did forget to let y'all know, this was released in 2018, and the price back then was $11, but now I'm pretty sure it's around like the $9 to $10 one. Uh, if you get, obviously, a bigger size, it'll probably be maybe a $10 stick. Uh, the wrapper is undisclosed for this one. The binder is undisclosed. The factory was Tab <laughs> Tabacalera William Ventura, and the origin note is from Dominican Republic, so... I guess that's all they're going to give you on this one, which is interesting because the last other, the other two cigars I have from them, they released all the information. So I don't know. We'll see what it is. I haven't seen many reviews on there, although I did search to see if there were reviews on it and there are a lot of reviews on it. I'm not even really going to toast this one just because I don't want to go through that burn issue or anything. Let's do it. Like I'll toast the foot, but I'm not going to toast like the actual side this time. It's super windy, but... From what I get off the bat, it's very mellow, nothing crazy. Uh, yeah, I will talk to y'all in the first third. Well, the burn is great on this thing. No issues there. Um, it's a nice light cigar. The notes that I'm getting on this are just a hint of cedar, a little bit of leather, which is actually a first. I usually don't taste leather, but this one is more prominent. And by what I mean by it tastes like leather, well, it tastes like what leather smells like. Specifically, kind of like a wallet leather, that genuine type of leather, that's what it uh, tastes like to me. Other than that, I do get like a little bit of spiciness, but it's nothing crazy. It's a very medium stick. It's not even medium to full, it's just a medium uh, body stick, but 
No problems at all in the first third. I will talk to y'all in the second. Oh, man. This is a nice cigar, guys. I'm coming up on the second third right now. I'm about to take off this sticker right here. And um, I have no complaints. I mean, it's a solid cigar. Like, that's a good one in my book. I have no complaints. The burn is good. The notes, the flavor is great. Um, like I said, now I'm getting a lot more of like that cedar note, and I'm also getting a lot more. And I'm also getting a lot more of the um, a lot more of the leather, and it's just a little ting of spiciness. Like it's a little kick. I, I don't even want to say it's a spice. It's really like a little bit of pepper, but it's not overpowering like black pepper or anything. It's like literally just a little bit of spice. It's nice though. It's really nice. It's not overly done. Um, Room 101 did a great job on this. Although it feels tightly wrapped, what's crazy is the draw is great. Like, I have no problems with the draw at all. The only thing I will say is that it is burning pretty quick. I mean, we're only 20 minutes in, and um, I'm probably going to be done with this in the next, like, probably 30 minutes. So, yeah, that's fine with me. I'd rather it be a 45-minute smoke anyways, like I said. But okay, final third. Alright y'all, the final third. Yo, this thing is heating up. It's heating up. It's heating up. <laughs> like, first of all, uh spiciness gone, uh leather gone, a little bit of like cedar. This baby is gone. I'm stopping pretty much right here. I'm not gonna go any further because it's losing the flavor. That's what I was talking about in the last video, how I was like Usually around the final third, most cigars lose their favor, even unless it's like a super tiny one. Like, I remember watching a Padron cigar video from um, Cigar Obsession, and he was like, he said the flavor actually stayed, and that was because it was a tiny one. It was, I really want to try it too. It's like an anniversary edition. Again, we'll be trying the Davidoff one one more time, and I'll be trying the Arturo Fuente uh, Bella Cosa Cameroon. After that, I probably won't be doing it for a hot minute because the whole entire channel is going to be basically gaming. Uh, from that point on I'm about to get the PC. I'm trying to save up a little bit more. It's gonna be expensive PC It's gonna be about Three thousand dollars, but it's probably the biggest investment I've ever done for this channel is besides the car because that gets me to where I need to be as far as like Traveling and all these other expenses and whatnot overall the cigar was good though. I don't really have any complaints the burn was good uh, It is losing flavor now, but it was a solid cigar a nice mild stick um, It's turned into a medium full I guess now, but Hey, you guys can check it out. It's only like $9. Uh, Room 101 Hit and Run Part 2. Thank you all for watching once again. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. We've hit 6,000 subscribers. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but there's more to come. We need 100,000 subscribers. And we're not going to get there unless you guys share the video, subscribe, and continue just watching this content that I try to put out for you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And uh, thank God for allowing me to have this platform just to share it with you guys. Also, shout out to Ashley Perkins. Uh, I'm glad you got your PC now. Y'all can check her channel out. I'll leave it in the link description below. But um, yeah, her channel is booming now. I'm trying to start gaming. I'll be probably gaming with her in a couple, probably the next month. The next month, once I have the PC, you'll probably see who like I'm talking about. That's a little foreshadowing for y'all. Till next time, peace out.